Hi, here I am at uh, Lynn Valley uh, Headwaters where I've collected uh, some leaves. Uh, no trees were harmed in uh, the collection of these leaves. I picked them up from the ground and um, you can already see that they're inspiring in the colors that they have. And what I'll be using them for is to count my strokes. I'm going to do a 37 stroke painting in acrylic on canvas. And with each stroke, I'll drop um, a leaf to remind myself where I'm at and hope to do a simplified or at least a, a constricted uh, painting to 37 strokes. And of course, these are my expressive strokes. So we'll see what happens. Okay, so that was a first stroke for uh, focus. So I'll uh, count that. And I have 37 leaves here ready to do a 37 stroke painting with my expressive brush strokes. I have pinacridone gold here. And I'm just gonna do a nice big sweep across the bottom here. Uh, let it drip, I love that. Uh, I'm just filling in some of this bottom and it'll be a background. And hopefully that is one long expressive stroke. Okay, so two. Uh, so it's more about uh, trying to see how I might build the larger shapes in this painting. Uh, I'm looking at the beautiful reflections in the pools below. They are this sort of golden color. So uh, it might be good just to try to, even right now, try to capture some of that deep tone underneath and around rocks. There's a purple up there that I'll have to remember. But for now, I'll just get this first little pool here. Okay, that's three. And then uh, I'll build thicker paint later, but I'll just get the idea of this lovely glow here. Maybe I'll get a cleaner orange. And, and, okay, so there's this lovely glow right here. It's orange, an orange rock. So I want to carry that. You see, I'm seeing that glow across the so that's why I'm carrying it, not lifting. And just wherever I see that it's warm, I'm gonna put a little glaze there. Uh, there's a little orange rock here. Nice little orange there. And we'll finish that off like that. Okay. So right now it's just a wash of brush strokes. So that was three. And I see a purple in there. But I also see a red, so I'm going to put this red rock that I see here. And it's darker underneath, so that's one rock. There's another one here. Come around. There's this big rock like that. So I'm going to chop into that. And maybe another. So at least I outlined with that stroke. Um, there's this lovely white rock here, so I may want to remind myself by outlining it. I might just get a dark here. Dark color. Yeah, it's going to be quite strong, but there's this big rock here, so I'm going to I'm going to now, I'm concentrating on this line that's coming in over the rock. There's a big, big rock here. And there's this part underneath. I'm going to pick up some paint here. There's some nice little line work here. I haven't lifted yet. There's a strong dark here. So I want to remind myself of that. And then this goes to the little rock here. Okay, maybe I'll get some more darks around these guys. So this is one pretty much big shape here. And there's a crease in that rock there. Okay. 
I'll just keep building these rocks here. There's a red one. That'll be dark for a white later on top. I'll just get a purpley tone. It's sort of orange, so let's get that orange purple back here. So I see this rhythm of rock. It's going to be dark in here. This is just underneath all that grass. It's getting dry brush here, but that might have a nice effect later. Okay, so that was another stroke. Let me now use a wet brush. And I'm just going to stroke through that. This will be a, another stroke, so it's going to be a kind of a fun glaze just over this. This will just allow the green to pop through some of this. Okay, it's another stroke. Um, I may have to, since it's dripping, I just have to. So I'm going to use that as a stroke, too, actually. Oh, I'm using up my strokes quickly. So I'm just bringing this brush through here. And I'm going to be some of this. So this rock can be formed by one brush stroke. This is another rock. I'm going to form. Yeah. That's another rock. So let's get those background rocks. I think this is going to be just one stroke here. So I'm just moving the brush in all sorts of different ways. Try to get this background color. Of drips there, so I'm gonna have to. Oh, well, maybe I'll make them trees. Uh, I wonder if I should push this red, so I'm gonna get a really nice red. And it basically, it's this sort of ground right here. So there's this interesting
thinking about the light tones here of these rocks. There's this really strong line. So I'm going to use this as a brush stroke. Uh, see if I have a... I'm going to use my hand as a brush stroke. Okay. I'm going to clean this up. And lift. Lift some of this up. Well, it's a bit of an abstract. Maybe let me get some more line in here. Before that, I see this lovely color right here. This teal color. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six brush strokes left. So let me make a tree. One comes across this little and another tree. And another tree there. Three trees. That was one stroke. And I'm going to put, reflect them in the water a little bit. One, two, okay. another one. So four more, let's see here. Uh, this is a little rough here, so what's happening? There are lots of turbulence, so let's get that turbulence in there. Feed it through. Oh, that's a nice purple color. I'm going to carry that through. See if there's some other rock. Maybe I'll use it here. Yeah. Better. And let's get the dark in there again. So that one. And let's just use this line. I like the little rhythm of lines, so why don't I play on that? I don't have that many brush strokes left, so. Two more. Let's make these good. Uh, nice purple would be good in there. So I see this purple around here. Not like that shape there, so I'll push that there. And I have one last stroke, and I just want to deepen some area. So I'm just going to come around and maybe bring a little bit of a focus here. Some darks from through here. And my last little hurrah. 37 stroke painting in acrylic.
darker, like this one, and placed on top. Depending on the type of pigment, if it's opaque, like uh, cerulean blue is a little bit more opaque, it'll cover a little bit and you can put it on top. This is still very wet, but if I want to have a little bit more um, exaggeration,